I know it's already been like a few weeks since I came back from London, but I thought I'd do a little haul video to tie you over. If you've seen my haul videos before, you know I'm really crap at it, so I apologize in advance. I want to keep this short, so let's do it. There's two boring things, and the rest is super exciting, I swear. So first, I got these shoes. For some reason, I decided only to bring winter shoes to London. Boots and sneakers, stuff that gets hot, you know what I mean? So I got these little dudes. I was at a department store and I spotted them. I wanted some sandaly type shoes. It's not that exciting. I don't have a lot of brown shoes. Everything seems to be black. Next, we have this shirt from Cos. We also have Cos here. Don't know what I was thinking. Just essentially a gingham shirt. I haven't got any gingham in my wardrobe and I thought I should do some. And while I'm at it, it should definitely be yellow. This is actually a size 16. I'm usually a size 8, but I accidentally pulled this off the rack and loved the way it looked baggy. It's very sunshiny. Happiness has many forms. New stationery is one of them. This was a stationery store called Papersmiths. Basically, they just do clean, well-designed stationery. It wasn't too crazy. It was more that they had just color-coded the stationery. So I was like, wow, I need this, 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 and this. I've got another yellow pencil case. Definitely need one of those. I really like it. It's like a plastic case. It seems really sturdy. There's like a pocket here. And then there's another three different sections on the inside. Thin as well, so that's re really going to work well for me. It's kind of nice to just grab and go. Another three things that I got. I only have two here because I've already lost one. Basically just some art line pens. I can get these in newsagents, stationery stores, art stores here. It was more that I just liked the color selection that they had. So I got a red one a blue one and also a yellow one. What else? Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Another thing I got was this uh, tote bag from Papersmiths. It says rock, paper, scissors on it. It's really cute, love the orange and the warm tone. On the inside of the strap says like this pink, like nude color, which I think is a really nice detail. And like a big pocket at the front where I can just chuck my phone, my keys. Really loving this. Proof that I love it. A giant stain on the back. I might have to order another one. I saw it and I was like, I must have this. It was only £10, £15 or something. I was like, oh my god, bargain, I have to get it. You know when you go to a city and you're like, uh, the tourist stores are sh**. It's all the same stuff. It's not well made. Just not into a souvenir store. They make me feel depressed. Anyway, I came across this store. It looked really odd from the outside. I got it and I realized that they had a lot of like London themed stuff. And I was speaking to the person behind the counter and they were mentioning that these were all London artists. So we built this city as the store I'm talking about. Didn't buy anything that day because I was worried about my baggage allowance. They reached out to me. They were wondering if they could send me some stuff. So I sent them a little wish list of the things that I had my eye on in the store. And I don't know what they sent me, but it's a really gorgeous box. I'm going to open it. First of all, packaging. I just thought it was such a good idea because it was really unique. And the fact that they're supporting local artists and designers is totally my thing. I love that. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I think I know what this is. <gasps> yes! It says Girl Gang. Okay, so these are laser cut earrings. I had my eye on these, so I'm really, really happy. <gasps> so freaking cute. I love these. I'm going to wear these all the bloody time. I don't wear earrings because I think they make me look weird, but these ones look too damn good not to wear. This is a weekly planner. Basically, I live my life by writing lists, so I needed to have this. I love it. Every 13 weeks is a new color. That is so adorable. I didn't realize that. And these stickers, I don't know if they're Rizzo, but they're f***ing good. Look at these colors, holy crap. Who did this? The Printed Peanut, oh yeah! Okay, I follow the Printed Peanut on Instagram. They basically do a lot of good graphics work, so these stickers are going straight onto my laptop. Wow, amazing! I think you all want this is a gorgeous print. How did they do this? This one goes out to you guys. Check this. Okay, if you truly, truly love me and know me, you know that I'm a super fan of David Attenborough. I went to a talk of his earlier this year, and as soon as his silhouette appeared behind the curtain, I burst into tears. I don't know how it happened or why. It's never happened to me before. But for basically for the whole hour, because I attended the event by myself, I was sunken into my chair just like trying not to cry. It was really, really embarrassing. This is a David Attenborough iron-on patch. Super excited to iron it on because I have a jacket that I'm gonna start filling with patches. These pencils. This is a full English breakfast pencil set. Essentially, they just have 
like the names of every item in a full English breakfast. So there's baked beans, bacon, sausage, fried egg, black pudding, and fried bread. And it's kind of like in the corresponding colors. I think these are really sick. I'd love to make my own pencils. Don't know how to do that. If you know, let me know. <laughs> I'll do it at the end of the vlog because I just want to keep this short but I had uh, someone ask me if I had ever thought about using Patreon. The most likely answer is no just because I do a lot of client work, a lot of project based work so um, committing to monthly content and stuff like that is just a little bit much on top of like content creation for my social, just stuff for my website, trying to do all the projects that I want to do, enough time for ideation and play like I, that's basically why I'm not going to do it. So if you want to support me, my store is the best place to do it. I will put a link as always down below. If anyone was wondering, this is my mother's overweight greyhound. Her name's Aki and she's so damn cute. I'm sorry. I don't mean to shame you. I love you. You want your chair back? Sorry I had to disturb you to make this video. Please forgive me. I love you, little sausage.